Hey guys, welcome back sa ating C++ week. So this is day 3 and for today we have a new problem. So this problem is called maximum and minimum value in array. So pretty self-explanatory naman kung ano yung kailangan natin gamin dito. So basahin na natin yung ating problem for today. So nakalagay dito guys. Let's read together. Create a program that uses an integer array where the user is the one who decides how many elements there are in the array and the values in it. Then, create two functions, namely getMain and getMax, that has a parameter of an integer array wherein getMax returns the largest value of the array. GetMean returns the lowest value of the array. Display the highest and the lowest value. So guys, take note, only use loops in determining the largest and the lowest values. So kung estudyante ka or beginner ka pa lang, please do follow the instructions carefully. Pero kung may alam kang way, then feel free to do so. But guys, take note kung nasa school kayo and meron binigay sa inyo instructions yung prof nyo and gusto niya yun lang. Meron kasi mga prof na gusto na susunod yung binigay niya instruction. So, marami kasi tayong way para gawin yung isang program. So, kung ganun yung prof nyo, gawin nyo na lang in their way. So, ganun, so kung gusto nyo, i-apply nyo dito. Try nyo sundin, nasundin yung ating instruction para masanay na kayo kung nasa school man kayo. Okay? So, yun lang guys. Kung naiintindihan nyo na yung problem, then go ahead and post this video and try to do it for yourselves. And after 5 seconds, we will be back and papakita na namin sa inyo yung output. Then, tatry na natin gawin sa ating video. Okay? So, timer starts now. We assume guys na tapos na kayo sa inyong coding challenge. So, tingnan nyo natin ang ating output for today. So, basahin ulit natin ng konti yung questions natin. So, ang nakalagay dito is create a program that uses an integer array where the user is the one who decides how many elements there are. So, ayan na nga. How many numbers in the array? I will put 3. So, ngayon, papalagay niya lahat ng values dun sa loob ng array na yun. So, yung tatlong number na hinihingi ko. So, value for index 0, I would say 10. And value for index 1, I would say 1. And value for index 2, I will say 7. And as you can see guys, display niya yung highest number. So highest number is 10 and the lowest number is 1 which is correct. Okay? So ganun yung magiging program natin. So kung ano man yung ginawa nyo way, okay lang. Kung hindi nyo sinunod yung instructions, pero nagawa nyo, that's fine. But kung nagawa nyo yung instructions ng sakto-sakto, then very good. So kung gusto nyo malaman kung nagawa nyo yung instruction ng ng tumpak na tumpak, ito yung ating code. So, as long as na gumamit kayo ng dalawang function, which is called getMax and getMean, and ang ginamit nyo is loops, for loops or while loops, hindi nyo na-disobey yung ating instructions. And then, down here, so as you can see, hindi natin sini out dito sa ating function, but ni-return natin, and then doon natin sa main function, Sini out. So as you can see, C out highest number is get max then num. So kung hindi nyo naiintindihan yung code na to, kung hindi ito yung ganito yung ginawa nyo code exactly, mamaya explain ko sa inyo kung paano nangyari to. Kaya lang natin pinapatry sundin yung ating instruction kasi ang purpose ng ating C++ week is to apply the fundamentals na natutunan natin. So meaning yung for loop, yung return types, yung functions and yung arrays. So, para ma-apply ma natin yun as in. So, kung may nagawa kayo ibang way, that's fine. You're, baka nga mas magaling pa kayo sa akin eh, kasi nakagawa kayo and may sarili kayong way. So, ayun guys. So, ngayon, i-delete na natin lahat ng code natin and let's try to do it for ourselves. So, let's delete this. Then also, let's delete everything here. Then again guys, I always say na huwag natin kakalimutan kung ano yung steps natin in evaluating a problem. So first of all, we will look at the big picture again. Okay guys, no, nabasa nyo na to, so I will not read this again. So alam nyo naman na big picture here. Then let's cut the big picture through small steps na. So then solve the problem step by step. So basahin na natin yung first step natin. So, create a program that uses an integer array where the user is the one who decides how many elements there are in the array and the values in it. 
So, pretty clear na guys, mag declare tayo ng integer array where yung ating user yung magde-determine kung gano'ng karami yung laman ng array and yung mga value nung array na yun. So, from the last episode, sa day 2, ginawa din natin to. So, pretty easy na lang yun sa inyo kung nagawa niyo yung last day natin. So, what we want to do is to declare a counter, int counter. So, ito yung magde-determine kung gano'ng karami yung array natin. Then, we need to prompt the user. So, hingin natin how many numbers in array. Then, see in yung counter natin. So, hingin natin yung counter natin. Then, we will declare an integer array. So, paano mag-declare ng integer array? Then, yung data type, in. Then, yung name ng ating variables. So, numbers. Then, I will put square brackets. So, ayan yung ating array na integer. But then, ano yung natin sa loob ng square bracket? So, kung ganong karami yung elements dun sa loob ng array, which is si user yung nag-decide, which is yung counter natin na variable. So, ngayon, kung ano man yung ilagay ni user, ganong karami yung ating array. Then, ngayon, i-determine natin kung ano yung mga laman ng array na yun, which is si user din yung mag input so, we will use for loop. So, ginawa din natin ito kahapon. So, dito sa may student name, nilagay natin isa-isa. So, kung hindi nyo napanood yun and gusto nyo dun muna kayo, then please do watch that video. So, gagawin natin ngayon is for loop. So, for int i is equal to 0. If i is less than counter, so, in-explain ko yan kahapon, yung i is less than dun sa kung gano'ng karami yung ano natin, array. Then, I++. plus plus. Then, i-iterate natin. So, sinabi ko nga, ano i-iterate? Babasahin natin isa-isa yung nasa loob ng isang group. Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin is ipoprompt uli natin sa si user. See out. Enter value for index i. So, ano yung index i? Yung i uli, guys, kung pang ilang element na siya. Okay? So, yun yung purpose ng i natin. Then, save natin yan. Then, see in. Ang ilalagyan natin is yung numbers. Then, yung index niya na i. Which is 0 sa una. Then, nagiging 1, nagiging 2. Hanggang matapos yung counter natin. So, let's try this, guys. So, para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano ginagawa ng code na to. Let's run this. How many numbers in array? Diba? Sinabi niya. So, if I put 4, as you can see, enter value for index 0. If I put a value there, Enter value for index 1, 25, index 2, 23, index 3, 15. So, as you can see, guys, 0 siya nagsimula kasi sa array, 0 nagsisimula ang index. And pagka hiningan kayo kung gano'ng karami, magsisimula sa 1, okay? So, lagi nyo tatandaan yun. When accessing an array, nagsisimula siya sa 0. But when declaring an array, nagsisimula siya sa 1, okay? So, as you can see naman, apat yung hiningin niyang array. And apat din yung in-enter natin dito. So, yun yung ginagawa ng code na yun. So, magde-declare tayo ng array. Then, lalagyan natin ng value lahat ng element ng array na yun. Okay? Gets? So, good. So, next step na tayo. Tapos na natin yung step 1, guys. We will proceed sa ating step 2. So, basahin natin yung step 2 natin. So, gumawa nga tayo ng sarili natin instructions. Then, create two functions, namely, get min and get max that has a parameter of an integer array wherein get max returns the largest value of the array and then get mean returns the lowest value of the array so ayun guys so hatiin uli natin yung ating step na yon so, so unahin muna natin yung get mean so functions namely get mean so, gagawa tayo ng function na get mean muna. So, yun muna isipin natin. So, create two function namely get mean. So, gawa muna tayo ng get mean. So, laging nilalagay yung function na bago sa taas ng main function. Para natatawag natin siya sa main function. So, we will need a return type. So, ang, ano yung return type natin guys? So, ang nakalagay dito, returns the largest value of the array. Eh, ano ba yung array natin? Integer. So, ngayon, dapat integer din yung return type natin. Int, then, ang pangalan niya is get mean. Ang nakalagay doon, that has a parameter of an integer array. So, dapat yung parameter niya, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, kung alam niyo yung functions, yun yung parameter. Ang kailangan natin is an integer array. So, we will put int, then kahit anong pangalan ng integer nums, 
then we will put square braces or square brackets kung ano yung gusto nyo itawag. So, yan. Integer array, yan. Then, curly braces and sa loob nun, dito na command natin. So, we need to determine kung ano yung pinakamaliit dun sa array na ibibigay natin sa kanya. So, what we need to do so, is, so, is, kung naisip nyo yung logic na yan, so, ang galing nyo. So, gagamit, gagamit tayo ng for loop dito. Ngayon, ang una muna natin kailangan gawin is to declare an integer. So, ito lang yung magiging basihan natin. So, int minimum. Int minimum. Then, yung i-assign natin sa int minimum na yan is yung first element ni nums, which is yung nums 0. So, ayan yung gagawin nating basihan. So, ina-assume natin na ang pinakamaliit is yung unang element nung ating array. But then, i-compare natin yan sa lahat. So, we will use a for loop. So, i-compare nga natin sa lahat. So, kailangan natin basahin yung array. So, gagawa tayo ng for loop. For int i is equals to 0. Ngayon, hindi natin alam kung gano'n kalaki yung array. So, kung gano'n karami yung array. Kasi, if we try to i is less than counter, as you can see, hindi natin pwede access yung counter na dineclare ni user dito. Ang kailangan natin gawin is to make this a global variable para na-access siya ng buong class or buong bayan. <laughs> so, we need to cut this and then kailangan natin ilagay sa pinakataas. So, dito. So, sa labas ng mga functions natin. So, kung naalala nyo pa yung global variables and local variables, ang local variables is only accessible sa loob ng isang function. So, kung nari, ito. Yan, local variable yan. Ito yung int minimum, local variable yan. Kasi dito lang siya pwede access But the global variable will be accessible sa buong class. So, as you can see, yung counter na to, nasa labas ng lahat ng function. And as you can see, pwede natin siyang i-access na dito. So, yun yung global variable and local variable. So, as you can see, yan na nga. Tapos na tayo. So, let's continue on. Then, I++. So, babasahin natin yung buong array. Ngayon, di ba, in-assume natin na si minimum, eto minimum na to is yung first element ng ating array na pinasa dun sa loob ng get min function. So, ngayon, i-compare nga natin yung minimum dun sa lahat ng value sa loob ng array natin. So, what we are going to do is to use if minimum, so yung minimum, mas malaki, so greater than dun sa current number na binabasa ng for loop natin. Siyempre, dahil nga mas malaki yung minimum natin dun sa current number na binabasa, papalitan natin yung minimum no current number na binabasa. So, what we are going to do is, minimum is equals to nums i. So, mapapalitan siya nung mas maliit sa kanya. Then, tapos na yan. Yan na yung code natin dito. So, ayan, nalaman na natin yung minimum. Now, ang kailangan na natin i-gawin is i-return natin yung minimum. So, ibig sabihin, ito na yung minimum na number na kuha na natin. Ngayon, mas madali na lang gawin yung get maximum. Babalik na rin na lang natin yung code natin. So, as you can see, nakalagay dito, returns the largest value of the array. So, kabalik na nga lang ni get min. Now, we can just copy-paste this. And then, isipin nyo yung logic, guys. So, kailangan ulit natin ang array ng number. Then, we need an integer maximum. So, kahit ano naman yung pangalan yan, kahit minimum din, kahit maximum yun naman labas. Ngayon, if maximum, so papalitan natin yung condition na ito. Ngayon, di ba kinocompare niya lahat sa element natin doon sa loob na array. Ang kailangan natin malaman ngayon, kung yung maximum is less than doon sa binabasa na value doon sa loob ng ating array. Ngayon, kung mas malaki yung, kung less than yung maximum doon sa ating binabasang L binabasang value, currently na binabasang value, papalitan natin yung maximum. So guys, Sinabi ko nga sa inyo, ina-assume natin na yung first element is yung pinakamalaki. Dito naman, ina-assume natin yung first element is yung pinakamaliit. Ma mapapalitan yan sa loob ng for loop kasi i-compare natin siya sa lahat ng element dun sa loob ng array natin. So, ayun. Ngayon, i -re return na lang natin is yung maximum. Then, tapos na ang ating step 2. So, yun yung step 2 natin. Nagawa na natin yung get minimum and get maximum. So, as you can see guys, hindi ko pinalitan. So, I'm so sorry about that. So, pinalitan na natin yung pangalan niya. So, int get max. So, muntik na magka-error yung ating code. So, yun na nga guys. So, for the last step, basahin natin, display the highest and the lowest value. So, yun na lang yung last step. So, take note guys, only use loops in determining the largest and the lowest value. So, kaya nga, loop lang yung ginagamit natin and yun na. 
So guys, kanina nga sinasabi ko sa inyo, kung sini out nyo dito yung minimum, that's fine. Pero ang nakalagay dito sa instruction natin, returns the largest value of the array and then return the lowest value of the array. Ang nakalagay naman dito guys is display the highest and the lowest value. Ibig sabihin, kailangan muna natin i-return yung nasa function natin which is i-return nga natin. Then dito natin ipiprint, dito natin isi-see out, hindi dito sa loob ng function na to. So, kung nagawa nyo naman yung ganun, okay lang. Functional pa rin naman yung code nyo. So, ang purpose lang nun is para maintindihan natin yung mga return types and kung paano ginagawa nun. So, ngayon, i-display na natin yung highest and lowest value. So, ang kailangan na lang natin gawin is to put C out here. C out, highest value is, then concatenate, dalawang less than sign ulit. Then, we will put get max. So, get max, kukunin niya yung pinakamalaking number. As you can see, nangihingi siya ng integer of arrays of integers. So, ano yung arrays of integers natin dito? Yung numbers na dineclare ni user. So, we will put numbers here. Then, concatenate ulit, end L. So, para magpunta sa new line lang. C out ulit. Then, lowest value is, so, kabalik tara naman niya, get mean. So, then, humihingi ulit siya ng array of numbers, then numbers. So, yun lang. Ayan na yung ating final program. Now, if we try to run this, how many numbers in an array? I would say 10. So, maglagay tayo ng mga random numbers. 25, 30, 20, 1, 26, 12, 15, 1, 1, 5, 10, 23. As you can see, guys, nagdetermine niya kung ano yung largest value and yung lowest value. As you can see, highest value is 30. 30. So, yan yung pinakamalaki nating na-input as you can see. And the lowest value is 1 which is yun yung pinakamaliit nating na-input. So, yun lang guys. So, yun lang guys yung challenge natin for today. I hope you learned something kung hindi nyo pa alam. So, kung nagawa nyo tong challenge na to, then very good. Alam nyo na yung naintindihan nyo yung functions, naintindihan nyo yung return types, naintindihan nyo yung for loops. Kung nagawa nyo man sa ibang way, then, mas magaling pa kayo kasi meron kayong sariling way na naisip na hindi sinusunod yung instruction. But take note guys, pag nasa school kayo and yung prof nyo maselan sa instruction, sundin nyo yung instruction nila. So, kung hindi nyo talaga alam, then tsaka nyo gawin yung way nyo and pakita nyo sa prof nyo and sabihin nyo, tama naman po eh. <laughs> so, joke lang. So, huwag nyo sasagutin yung prof nyo. So, yun lang guys. Thank you for watching this video and as always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.